Health Center in Hawaii. Aloha! Hope your sub captain, but okay. mostly your main engine, okay? All right. All right. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Got me nice and ready. Our engine, nice and reliable, was made in Africa. So we're nice and safe. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, of course, there are houses with walls in these islands, but traditionally, the old traditional buildings, no walls in this island. Uh, but as we bring it across while we're still in New Zealand, I want to pay attention to this canoe right here. I want you to look at the carvings on the front, side, and back. Now, very unique to the islands of New Zealand is their carvings. No other Polynesian islands have carvings. Other islands, they specialize in baskets or weaving. New Zealand specializes in carving. Now, the reason being, this is how they show respect to their multiple gods. I live the multiple gods are carved in between the carvings. That way they believe their gods will be protecting them as they do travel along the Pacific. Yeah. Uh, and the important thing to realize is this would fit about 50 indigenous warriors known as Maori people. But the original ships would be three times oh. longer, about 160 feet long. Wow. So quite massive, these ships. And what they would use them for is transporting them along the coastlines to be able to go into war. So in Polynesian history, they are the most fearsome warriors wow. and they recently just got recognition as being one of the top 10 most fearsome warrior races in the world. Wow. Oh, wow. So all history, these are in the top 10. Wow. One of the main reasons being, if you watch that haka performance or the war dance, yes. first was it intimidating or scary a little bit? Yeah. Yes. But if you said no, wrong people are doing it, it's supposed to be intimidating. Uh -huh. But if you imagine that was about five to six people, imagine about five to six hundred people yeah. doing it with the same wow. energy. Wow. Also, they would have warrior weapons, spears, and clubs. So we are very fearsome. That's why we only have a few people doing it here today. And no weapons. But that's the important thing. They were the warrior race of Polynesia. It's to their enemies. They would only eat their chiefs, the uh -huh. people that they defeated in battle. Uh -huh. But the islands of Fiji was for survival. Oh. It's really easy. But like we're on the ocean, no one else can hear us <laughs> But only two islands to be do that. Our other islands like Tonga, Samoa, Tahiti and Hawaii, which would have been down that end, mm -hmm. they do not participate in that. Only these two races. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Huh, so good to know. In fact, where we still are, still are in Fiji, is surprisingly Fiji is actually not in Polynesia. Do oh. you guys know that? Yeah, it's farther. Do you know what Nisha means islands? Oh. The reason being, our people of Fiji is known as the Dark Islands because they are a lot darker skin color than anywhere else oh, yeah. oh. because they are traveled from Africa. Oh. So that's a big difference. The reason we do have Fiji here though is because our Polynesian ancestors are believed to have descended through Fiji. Oh. That's where they did start. So we have them here just to attribute that they were a part of Polynesia but just are no longer a part of that. Oh. Interesting fact about Fiji. Oh, okay. As you travel across though, you would have seen these small little canoes traveling around the ocean today. Firstly, did anyone ride these today? No. No one got to ride these today? No. The last one's actually just leaving. They left at five, so these ones are actually closed now. Oh, okay. But quick question, raise your hands if you watched the movie Moana. Oh, uh, Ali. Hi, Gang. I, th I think when she was escaping. When she was escaping? Yeah. Yes. Remember what happened when she tried to escape? It broke apart. Broke apart, flipped, and sent it back home. Yeah. The reason being, these ships are not designed for anywhere, ready for it, anywhere past the ocean. Once they go out into the waves, they get flipped over. Oh, okay. If they do make it out, they're not coming back home. Oh. So, so a lot of our ships like these two were not designed. Oh, okay. Duck. <laughs> You guys can't touch this bridge again if you want, hold it. This is our tall bridge, which means if you can reach this without standing up, you're tall. If you stand up too touch it, you'll stop growing. <laughs> <laughs> but the interesting thing about it, as we continue along in the islands of Tonga, is that that is their main canoe you'll see here today. But the canoe that they also have, did anyone go to the other end of the island where they saw the big ship parked? Mm -hmm. Anyone yeah. see that? Yeah. Yes. A few of us did. That is the Eosepo, our traditional Hawaiian ship. A double hull canoe, which means like this. Yeah. There's two sides and a beam covering the center. Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. 
which means that the island of Tonga had a similar design canoe, but double the size of that one. Wow. Oh, the reason wow. we don't have most of these canoes here is because they are very big. Yeah. We have more coastal ships that we can show off today. Oh, okay. Now as we continue along, I want to bring you to this island. Did anyone visit this island today? Right here in the middle? No. This is only an exhibit island because this is the smallest island in all of Polynesia. So this is known as Rapanui. Rapanui. Or Easter Islands. Everyone heard of the Easter Islands? Yeah. If you have if you haven't, you can Google it. But they're very famous for these statues. Oh. Now, if you look at this statue, you may notice she looks familiar. Yeah. Do you guys know where you might have seen the statue already today? There would have been his brother also is here as well. His brother is actually right behind us pushing the canoe. Oh. <laughs> but that is actually more similar to the size you would actually see in the islands. Sometimes oh. even three times bigger than that. Oh, wow. But one of the biggest mysteries in Polynesia that actually still isn't solved to this day is where those statues came from. Oh, Archaeologists yeah, actually yeah. tested those statues and realized there's no place on the island where it shows they've dug the statues up. Oh. Even when they've lifted them up, underneath is about three times the size. Oh, wow. One of the biggest mysteries is where do these statues come from? They've tested the rocks and they go <clears> back <throat> to South America. Mm. But they don't know how they traveled across the ocean by themselves. Oh. Hmm. A lot of people do believe that they brought them on their canoes. A lot of people believe that aliens did it. Mm. Personally, I'd say the most reliable one would be the people bringing it over from South America. But being so big, it's just hard to imagine how they would have brought them there. Yeah. So to this day, we still don't know where they came from. Oh, That's wow. a mystery if you guys want to solve that yourself. Feel oh, free. Yeah. Been about a few thousand years still in the final solution. Wow. But now we come to our last island of the day, which is Samoa. Raise your hands if you've been to Samoa today, the village. Perfect. Now keep your hand up if you've heard of Samoa before coming here. Yes. A few of us have? Yes. For those who have, do you know any famous Samoan people? Uh, do you guys know The Rock, John, Dwayne the Rock? But also, if you watch NFL or American football, about 50% of the lineup will be from Samoa. Uh, or American Samoa, which is a territory uh, of America. Smaller island, they became independent. So it's similar to Hawaii, but Hawaii is a state. Very different. Yeah. But American Samoa is actually the highest drafting rate of NFL players and mm -hmm. also the military. Wow. Mm -hmm. So very big people who come there. Yeah. But the places of America, one thing you want to learn about is the trees. Here in Polynesia, and especially in Samoa, the coconut trees, every tree is to believe to have had a meaning. So a coconut tree doesn't grow there for no reason. We always have a story of why that tree was there. Mm. So if you did visit this village, you can ask them, why is this tree here? Why is this tree here? They'll always have a story for it. Sometimes it might be different depending on who you ask. <laughs> but it just shows that for us as Polynesians, our plants are very important, especially our coconut trees, very sacred to us. Um. But now, as we come to the end of our tour today, do you guys have any questions for us? Anything that you guys want to learn more about that mm. you still don't know? Where do the Hawaiian people come from? Where do the Hawaiian people come from? Yeah. Good question. We believe that they came from Tahiti. So about 1800 years ago, we believe they took their canoes voyage to Hawaii. Oh. Fun fact is once they landed in the big island of Hawaii, they didn't explore the other islands until about a few hundred years later. Oh, yeah. oh, so once they settled, they settled their agriculture, then they believed they wanted to start adventuring. They could see the small oh, islands, yeah. travel and inhabit to the island. Oh, wow. Yeah. Perfect, there we go. Yeah. One last fact before we finish is Hawaii. Do you guys know how much islands are in Hawaii? Yeah. It's actually not seven. In Hawaii, there's just over 50. 50 oh, islands. The reason being, we have our seven main islands, but we have lots of uninhabited islands all around Hawaii. Like, oh. like well, a lot of them. <laughs> so it's very interesting. But as we come to the end of our tour here, guys, can we give a big round of applause to our engine here today? Yeah. Woo! Believe it or not, this is my first time seeing the dock crash. This is a very safe catch. <laughs> but for me, as we do.